All right, Georgie, how have you been? Yeah, good, thanks, sir. How's things with you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Molly's back in Afghan? Yeah, I heard. Facebook. <laughs> yeah, she's working with the training and advisory team. Now, you probably know that already. So, what are you doing here? Final mission specific training on the Moors before Kenya. You going Kenya? Humanitarian mission. Outreach project in the refugee camps on the Somali border. Well, some of us have to work for a living. <laughs> I just had a word with your CEO and he thinks it's a sound idea. What? Need a medic. Experienced. Top of the range, fully loaded, and you fit the bill. What do you think? Actually, don't answer that now. You can chat it through with your loved ones and tell me in the morning. And you can say to your new chap that's only six weeks and you'll be back by Christmas. Isn't that what they said when headed out to the First World War? I wouldn't know, Georgie. Not as old as I look. <laughs> How do you know that I've got a new chap? Ah, oh, Molly. Right, guys, listen in. Good work out there today. If I had to single out a man of the match, I'd go to Lance Corporal Lane. Thanks, boss. You've always had a thing for the medic, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Strike one, fingers. Right. Her intervention has led to the arrest of several Al Shabaab figures in there today. But this is exactly how it started with Molly. Strike two, <laughs> fingers. <laughs> right, guys, stay here. Lay on me. Molly is an Afghan mentor in how you ask. Yeah, I'm glad to hear she's doing all right. She's still putting up with you anyway. Well, she loves me, obviously. So. Poor deluded fool. My wife's a serving soldier. Who's suffering from PTSD. It only meant that marriages can work even if one is in the army and away on tour. 